Welcome to the adventures of Rocky and Claude, the Gold Brothers. Well, hello there. My name is Claude. My name is Rocky. While these two unassuming pieces of rock may not seem that impressive, they are very special. Why, you ask? Because they contain gold, and they live at the Cortez Mine in northern Nevada, one of the world's safest and most modern gold mines. The place where we work today began when Rocky and Claude were born, more than 350 million years ago. And believe me, back then the landscape looked entirely different. Over 350 million years ago, when the Earth as we know it today was being formed, huge dinosaurs and other creatures swam in the warm, shallow oceans that covered this area. The remains of these creatures gathered on the bottom of these oceans and became a rock called limestone. Huge cracks in the earth called faults then brought gold to the surface from deep within the earth's core. This gold mixed with the limestone and at that moment, Rocky and Claude were born. But they were thrust apart by future ground movement and ended up far apart from each other. Rocky now lives on the surface of the earth, enjoying the sunshine. Hey, I love the sun over here. While Claude's home is thousands of feet below Rocky's. Could somebody turn the lights on, please? Come on, it's dark down here. Deep within the dark earth. For hundreds of years, prospectors and miners have been searching for Rocky and Claude, but they could never find them because back then, they lacked the needed education and technology. Rocky and Claude thought for sure they would never be together again. That was then. This is now. Today, geologists like our show's host, whose name is Will, stayed in school for many years studying how to find Rocky and Claude. And this higher education paid off big time. Will and his geologist friends finally found Rocky. It's about time, Will. And then a little bit later, they found Claude. Hey, hey, watch it. They rushed to their computers and began to figure out how to set them free. It would soon involve the construction of a large high-tech mining facility. Hundreds of men and women, millions of dollars in mining equipment, and most important, the approval of the government agencies and the local communities in Northern Nevada. With everything in place, Rocky and Claude are about to embark on a truly excellent adventure. To get Rocky's adventure started, here at Cortez we use open pit mining technology, which takes a lot of people and a lot of equipment. And as you can see, we've been looking for Rocky for quite a while. The way we found Rocky begins with these big drills that come in and punch a bunch of holes into the rock. Then our blasting crew comes in and they fill these holes with explosives that will shatter the rock so we can dig it up. Was that cool or what? Humongous! This shovel behind me is as big as a house! And it loads these trucks that could hold three school buses! And Rocky gets to ride in one of them! Oh yeah, love a good road trip. So how big are these trucks? They're this big! And just how big are the shovels? They're as big as a three-story house! And here goes Rocky, taking his first road trip in over 350 million years. Bye, Rocky. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey, catch you later, Will. This is fun. 
With Rocky on his way to be processed, let's see how Claude is doing. Hey, come on, man. Get me out of here. Since he has been living deep in the earth, the mining method to get him out in the sun is a bit more challenging. Skilled professionals must tunnel their way into the side of the mountain, following the rich gold veins where Claude lives. These tunnels can be as tall as a semi-truck and provide the miners and their large equipment a safe means to enter and exit the mine. After all this time, we finally found Claude, 1,500 feet below the surface. Hi, Claude. Hi, Will. How you doing? To get him out, we used this massive machine, a jumbo, to drill 10-foot holes into the rock that will load with explosives to break it up and get Claude on his way out of here. The underground blasting crew at Cortez are trained professionals who safely handle the explosives used to free Claude. First a detonator is placed into each hole and then an explosive is pumped in. They're all tied together and explode in a preset pattern. So where did everybody go? Now that Claude is free, it's time to get him to the surface. we break the rock with explosives, this huge mucking machine comes in to pick it up and put Claude on a truck for his road trip to the surface. Bye, Claude. Bye-bye, Will. Now that we've found Claude, we have to make this area safe for the next round of mining to free his friends. The proper ground support in our underground mine is very important for the safety of our miners. This machine puts up this wire mesh and these bolts that act like nails that hold the rock together so that we can safely mine underneath it. The young gal who drove Claude to the surface was very proud to have played a role in his new adventures. And she's not alone. Women make up a large part of the overall workforce here at Cortez in many different and challenging careers. The days of the rough and tumble miners portrayed in the movies does not exist in today's modern mining facilities. It takes a lot of professional women and men in a variety of career paths to make Claude's and Rocky's excellent adventures a reality. But the best is yet to come. After being separated for millions of years, Claude and Rocky are about to share a magic moment. Their very first family reunion. Rocky, it's been a long, long time, man. Yeah, I hardly recognized you. Where you been? No time for a party now. It's time to rock and roll. Because these two very happy rocks have a brand new life in front of them. Now that Rocky and Claude are finally back together, they're gonna be dumped into this huge beast of a crusher, where something the size of a Volkswagen can be crushed down to the size of a softball in as little as three minutes. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what a ride! <laughs> After this crushing moment, Rocky and Claude will take a seven mile ride on our state-of-the-art conveyor system. They'll be crushed again down to pebble size and be ready to go through the mill. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is a blast! Hey! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Woo! What a ride! Now that Rocky and Claude are safely across the valley, they're waiting in this stockpile to continue their adventure in this huge, sophisticated mill processing building. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Just look at these monster mills and gigantic hot tubs. It's the ultimate amusement park ride for Rocky and Claude. And this is where they start to become pure gold. They start their trip in a big Ferris wheel, go through a merry-go-round, they do a lot, a lot of twists and turns, and end up in a nice hot tub. Who could ask for better than that? And the wild part is, 
He's not playing a video game. This whole building is controlled by computers, and these guys are trained to safely operate them every day. Having made it through the processing phase at Cortez, now it's time for Claude and Rocky to dry off and get down to business in the refinery. This furnace heats the final process material to more than 2,000 degrees. And since they've cooked long enough, Rocky and Claude will be poured into these molds where they'll become what's called a doré bar, which is nearly pure gold. Once this is done, they'll be ready to leave their home of more than 350 million years to begin their golden age. So while you think Rocky and Claude's journey is over, in fact, it's just beginning. Gold is such a valued, precious material in this day and age that their journey will literally take them out of this world. So long, you guys. It was a pleasure meeting Three, you. Three, two, one, ignition. Catch you later, Will. Well, after all this time, Rocky and Claude's excellent adventure is underway. Right now, a bit of Claude is in outer space, orbiting the Earth, because gold is a vital element for our space program. Man, what a view from up here. It is used in literally hundreds of applications, from non-corrosive electronics to the coatings used on satellite solar panels that beam us everything from television to GPS navigation. At the same time, a little bit of Rocky helps save lives in modern operating rooms, while even more of him is used in our everyday lives. Electronic devices such as smartphones, iPods, computers, and even the monitor you are watching this video on rely upon gold to operate. Our modern lifestyle revolves around gold, and Rocky and Claude are proud to be a part of it. So while Claude's in space, and Rocky's saving lives, what happened to all the rocks we dug up to get to them? Well, I'm standing on it. We call it reclamation, but the animals here call it home. Throughout northern Nevada, thousands of men and women safely operate dozens of gold mines like Cortez. Each of these facilities' environmental departments work closely with government agencies to ensure the protection of the land, air, and water where they work. People, planet, then profits. That's how modern mining is done in Nevada. In order to get Rocky and Claude out, it took a lot of people and a lot of machines. And we do it safely so no one gets hurt because my safety is more important than finding gold. Because coming home safe and healthy every day is what life's all about. We found him, you guys, we found him today. Yay! So Rocky and Claude, have fun on your excellent adventure. It was a blast, literally. <laughs>